Okay, here we are. Here we are. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. It is. It's uh, coming up very closely. Yes, go ahead and kill the music. Uh, guess what? What? Our top story today is how to sell your home during the holidays. Is it a good time to sell your home? Well, you tell me. Yes, it is. It's a great time to sell your home. And we have a few reasons why it is a great time to sell your home. Number one reason is people are happy. People are in a good mood. Neighborhoods look festive and wreaths on the doors and lights on the houses. Uh, and so it's just a festive time. Everyone's in a good mood. That's true. Our neighborhood has already been decorated with all the Christmas stuff. In fact, it was decorated a couple of weeks ago. I know. Uh, I love that. It was shocking. The sooner the better, right? <laughs> <laughs> it must have been what they said. As long as it's all, see, everybody wants to be happy in their festive <laughs> neighborhoods. So that's all good. Um, so that's one of the re reasons is the houses look festive. Um, Another reason is, is that your house has a better chance to stand out. Now, I know even in this market, the inventory has been so tight, but it's going to get tighter over the holidays. So if you're thinking about selling, it's great to have even less competition um, on the market. Which is hard to believe that you can have less competition than there is right now. Right. Right. Uh, but there still is people, you know, want to wait till after after the holidays. Well, that might not be your best strategy. You might get uh, really the best situation right now. Um, and we can always negotiate, too. You don't necessarily you don't have to worry about having to move like right at the holidays and want to move into January. We can do a longer escrow, um, do a rent back. There are lots of things we can do so you don't actually have to move on Christmas. Right, and we're not accountants. I mean, it may benefit you to move this year and sell this year versus next year. You'll want to check with your CPA on that one. But there are advantages to probably closing your house out this year. That's right. Another thing is you might want to sell now and get your cash so you can buy non-contingent in the new year. Because as you know, market's very tight. And so as a buyer in this market, you would like to have your money in your pocket so you can be super competitive when you write an offer. Right. Now, if you do make a non-contingent offer, mostly the most, mostly, mostly important thing, the most important thing <laughs> is to have your agent absolutely know what's going on with the contingent offer. In this hot market, I'm sure that the seller would know that your home is going to sell, but it's not always easily communicated through your agent. Yes, that's right. Uh, so, and another benefit to being a seller during the holidays is your buyers have more time. I mean, the reason we work nights and weekends and holidays is because that's when buyers have time off and they have flexibility to come look at your home. The kids are out of school, they might have a break from work, so they have time to come and look at houses. It's true, time is the most important thing you've got, right? So if, you, if they've got more time during the holidays, the buyers to see your home and your home's on the market, and it's probably gonna to come together just as quick or quicker than it would in this already hot market. Mm-hmm. That's right. So who are today's sellers? Well, good thing you asked. Uh, this was a national survey done in the United States. So just to give you, I always like the numbers and, and the statistics. So today's typical seller is 45 years old, and about 25% of them are over, excuse me, over 60. Uh, Two-thirds of the sellers in this market went on to buy a home, too. So what did the other one-third do? I guess they either passed away or moved into a downsizing community. That's right. Yes, they probably did something. That's right. Yes. That's right. That's right. 70% right. <laughs> um, sold single-family homes. And how long do you think they lived there? What was the average time span that the current seller lived in their home? I didn't see your statistics. I'm going to say five years. 14 years. Oh, my gosh. I missed that by a it long time. It used shot. to be about seven years, and that number has grown over the past few years, but currently it's running at 14 years. Wow. So the sellers today have lived there 14 years. That's yes. an amazing statistic. Uh-huh, because it's growing. 80% um, of sellers said a life event influenced their decision to sell. Of course, that's always the reason that people move, right, is a life event. And our number one client always, who's our favorite client? 
Grandkids. Grandkids. We love grandkids. They're our best client because people are either moving, coming, or going for their grandkids. So it's awesome. We love grandkids. Yes, our market has increased so much in the last couple of years that a lot of times people's kids can't afford to buy in our market. So they move to a different market, different state, somewhere else. Guess who follows? Grandma and Grandpa. Yep. They don't move for their kids, <laughs> but they move for their grandkids. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's great. 46% um, the reason that they sold their home was family size. So again, either getting larger or getting smaller. 36% um, said a job transfer. And 35% said it was because they get to work at home now. There's a change in their work situation, like being able to work from, from home. So that kind of wraps up the, the majority of why people are moving. Another reason um, that people gave for selling in this market was the low interest rates, that they don't just want to be a seller in this market, but they want to take advantage and also be a buyer. Yes, the low interest rates are definitely creating a lot of buzz in the market. And I saw where the Fed's notes, the, the Federal Reserve's notes, were let loose, and they're talking about raising interest rates. Mm -hmm. Now, if they do raise them, I mean, it's we're in the threes right now. I don't imagine it's going to go up a point or two, but as they raise up through the months, probably through most of 2022, we're looking now in the first quarter of next year is going to be some of the lowest rates out there. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, your interest rate really has more influence on your monthly payment does than really the price. So if you want to talk about that, let's talk about that offline. <laughs> <It does. laughs> Call us. We'll talk about math. Um, so a couple other things. 32% of children, excuse me, 32% of sellers have children under the age of 18 in their homes and 66% have at least one dog. I thought that was really high. 66%? Yes, that does sound high. That sounded high to me, but that's who the home sellers have pets. <laughs> All 30, our neighbors have dogs. Right, that's true. <laughs> we used to have a dog. 35% um, have at least one cat, and 31% have another kind of pet. So I don't really want to know, know what those are. They might be reptiles. Yes. <laughs> Snakes. Snakes, <laughs> lizards, iguanas, birds, maybe. I don't know. I'm like, other. Like, yeah. how many other pets? But 66%, I thought that was really high that have dogs. Did all these percentages add up to be 100%? Doesn't look like it. I think some of them must double up. They have cats and dogs and other. Yes. <laughs> maybe others a horse or something. You know, who knows? That's right. Well, we're always here to talk about real estate. We love giving you your real estate updates. And today, since it is Thanksgiving Eve, what are you grateful for this year? Um, let's all be grateful if you've made it through another year to, all the way to the holidays. So happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving Eve. Happy Thanksgiving weekend. I guess it's really happy shopping weekend. <laughs> yes, yes. Black Friday right around the corner. That's right. So... Um, enjoy, and you know how we love to talk about real estate. You know where to find us. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thanks, guys.